scrimmage. Welcome to PBS 39 Scholastic Scrimmage. Scholastic Scrimmage is brought to you by the members of PBS 39 and by Scholastic Scrimmage is sponsored by St. Luke's University Health Network, the region's leading provider of medical education. For more than 100 years, St. Luke's has been dedicated to educating physicians, nurses, and healthcare professionals. To learn more, call St. Luke's Info Link, toll free at 866 St. Luke's, or visit sluhn.org. Support for PBS 39's educational programming is provided by the Deluxe Corporation Foundation. Proud to support quality programming on PBS 39. And now your host, Dr. Karen Walton, Provost DeSales University. Welcome to Scholastic Scrimmage. This is the first contest of the 2016-2017 academic year. It's also the 43rd year that PBS 39 has brought you this academic competition. I'm Karen Walton and I'm delighted to be your host. From now until May, the best and brightest students from 30 schools will compete for the honor of being the Scholastic Scrimmage champions. At the end of the season, the two final teams will win scholarships for their schools from the Air Products Foundation. Let's meet the team from Bethlehem Catholic High School. I'm Brendan Smith and I'm a junior. I'm Sean Huff and I'm a junior. I'm Lauren Schuster, I'm a senior. I'm Garrett Farrell and I'm a junior. Bethlehem Catholic's coaches are Jim Asprey and Robert Schiller. And now the team from Penn Argel High School. I'm Thomas Gray and I'm a senior. I'm Mason Hudnall and I'm a senior. I'm Devin Pfeiffer and I'm a senior. I'm Ben Firestone and I'm a senior. Penn Argel's coach is Tim Snelling. <laughs> the judges for today's contest are Sally Campbell, retired English teacher, and Dr. Gary DeLeo, professor of physics at Lehigh University. Remember that the questions on scholastic scrimmage demand rapid recall of factual information and are not necessarily indicative of academic training. We understand the rules, so let's begin the contest with a toss-up in chemistry. Sir James Dewar was a British chemist and physicist who invented the Dewar flask. What's the more common name for an adaptation of the Dewar flask that keeps warm contents warm and cold contents cold? Bethlehem Catholic? A thermos. A thermos bottle is correct, and your bonus. Named after a scientist, it is a series of oxidation reduction reactions in a living organism which produce carbon dioxide and energy in the form of phosphate rich ATP. What is this cycle called? Is it a Lauren? Krebs cycle? Correct. Toss up in world literature. Who wrote the famous lines about the seven ages of man? All the world's a stage. Bethlehem Catholic? William Shakespeare. From As You Like It. And your bonus. The speaker of those lines, Jacques, describes each life stage ending with a sixth, the pantaloon, who is shrunken with a small voice, and the seventh, who encompasses second childishness, sans teeth, sans eyes, sans taste, sans everything. For five points each, name any two of the remaining five ages. Any idea? Childhood and adulthood. Lauren? Childhood and adulthood. I believe that uh, Mrs. Campbell will take neither. They are infant, schoolboy, lover, soldier, and justice. Next toss up is in mathematics, multiple choice. Which one of the following function is said to be increasing on the real numbers from negative infinity to positive infinity? Bethlehem Catholic? B f of x equals x minus three. That is correct. And your bonus is this. Consider the graph of f of x is equal to x squared. On what interval is it increasing, and what interval is it decreasing? Decreasing is what? Decreasing negative infinity to zero, increasing negative infinity to zero. Lauren, it is increasing on? Increasing negative infinity to zero, and, er, and then 
the other one would be all remaining numbers, real numbers. It is increasing from zero to positive infinity, and it is decreasing from negative infinity to zero. It's a parabola that, uh, that opens upward. Toss up in physics. Multiple choice. Which one or more of the following factors determine the speed or velocity of a wave? A, the amplitude of the wave. B, the medium in which the wave is propagating. C, the wavelength of the wave. D, the frequency of the wave. Bethlehem Catholic. B, the medium in which the wave is propagating. Goes over to Penn Argel. Penn Argel. D. I don't it know. is B, C, and D. I was waiting to see if either of you would add anything. Which one or more of the following factors? Next toss up is in world history. Name the Frenchman who epitomized the Enlightenment. Bethlehem Catholic? Uh, Rochelle. Over to Penn Argel. Yes? Montesquieu. It is Voltaire. Toss of in geometry. The measure of an angle is one third the measure of its supplement. What are the measures of the two angles? Penn Argel? The lesser angle is 45, the greater angle is 135. Correct. And your bonus? The measure of an angle is four times its complement. What are the measures of the two angles? Oh. Mason? 72 and 18 degrees. Correct. Toss up in grammar. Correct the error in the following sentence on the monitor. One mile north of Turnersville, the Lincoln Highway crosses Salt Creek near the entrance to Cameron State Park. Penargel? Uh, there should be a comma after north. Over to Bethlehem Catholic. Garrett? There shouldn't be a comma after Turnersville. North should not be capitalized. We do not capitalize north, south, east, and west when they indicate directions. Let's go to a toss-up in biology. Name the longest and largest artery in the human body. Bethlehem Catholic. The aorta. And your bonus. Which organ secretes the enzyme lipase into the small intestine where it acts on the emulsified fat drops, changing them to fatty acids and glycerol? Lauren. The liver. It is the pancreas. Toss up in U.S. geography. What's the name of the largest American lake in square miles west of the Mississippi River? Bethlehem Catholic. The Great Salt Lake. Bonus for five points each. Name the two western states that border the Hoover Dam. Lauren. Arizona and Nevada. Yes. World history. Which English ruler was known as Good Queen Bess? Bethlehem Catholic. Queen Elizabeth I. Yes, also called the Virgin Queen. And your bonus. Name the famous playwright from the Elizabethan era known as the Bard of Avon. William Shakespeare. Yes, of course. World literature. An old French poem, a chanson de geste, records the deed of this hero, according to some legends, a nephew of Charlemagne. Name this hero who, betrayed by his stepfather, Bethlehem Catholic. Um, uh, Macbeth. I will continue for Penn Argel. Name this hero who, betrayed by his stepfather, Ganlon, is slaughtered along with his 20,000 followers at Ranchevaux. Pen Argel? Uh, Le Morte Arthur. It is Roland. Next toss-up is in chemistry. 
amalgams are formed by dissolving other metals in what metal? Ethan Catholic? Mercury? Is correct. Bonus for five points each, answer the following. If a sample of table salt is placed in a Bunsen burner flame, what color can be observed in the flame? Lauren? Green. Yellow. What chemical element produces that yellow color? Chlorine. It is sodium. Okay. NaCl is table salt, so it's the sodium. Next toss up is in geometry. Positive integers A, B, and C are called Pythagorean. Penargel? B equals four. You are correct. Bonus. What is the measure of a base angle of an isosceles trapezoid if the measure of the upper angle is 125? Mason? 65. It is 55. It is 180 minus 125 is 55. Toss up on world history. Which allied leader attended both the Yalta Conference and the Potsdam Conference after World War II? Penargel. Winston Churchill. Ephraim Catholic. Joseph Stalin. And your bonus? Franklin Roosevelt was the American president at the Yalta Conference. What American president attended the Potsdam Conference? Lauren. Truman. Harry Truman is correct. Music. Name the talented 20th century American composer, pianist, and conductor who wrote the score for... John Williams. I will continue for Penargel who wrote the score for On the Waterfront and became music director of the New York Philharmonic in 1958. If I had mentioned West Side Story, you would have gotten it correct. Leonard Bernstein. Toss up in biology. What connects the nasal passages with the trachea of the human respiratory tract and can also be considered part of the digestive tract? Bethlehem Catholic? The esophagus. Over to Penargel. Yes, Mason? The mouth. The pharynx. Toss up in world geography. What is the longest strait in the world? Bethlehem Catholic. The Bering Strait. Over to Penargel. The Strait of Malacca. It is half time. The halftime score is Penargel 20, Bethlehem Catholic 85. In the first round, we asked the students to tell us something about a role model or a mentor whom they have. So they, uh, let's begin with Bethlehem Catholic. Brennan? Um, probably a lot of my uncles and cousins and relatives. All right. Uh, Sean, thank uh, you. My parents. Thank you. Lauren? My two older brothers. And uh, what are they doing now? Are they still in high school? Or are they? Um, they've actually, one is just out of law school, the other is out of college, and they're both working down in Philadelphia. Thank you. And Garrett? My parents. Thank you. Let's go over to uh, Penargel Thomas. Rich Piana, because he inspires me to do whatever it takes. All right. Mason? Uh, my younger brother, Chase. And Devin? Donald Trump. Is he going to win? Hopefully. Okay. Benjamin? My dad. Thank you all. Let's continue with uh, a toss-up in physics. What is the formula for the thermal efficiency of a heat engine in terms of heat in Q and the net work out 
যাব ইউ divided by Q. Toss up in US history. Born after the Civil War, this man was the first African American to receive a PhD from Harvard and was Bethlehem Catholic. Booker T. Washington. I will continue for Penn Argyle. And was a leading, leading champion of liberation for black Americans. He was the founder of the Niagara Movement which was the forerunner of the NAACP. Name him. Penargel? Ma Martin Luther King Jr. It was W.E.B. Du Bois. Toss up in British literature. According to Peter Boxall, this novel has haunted the literary and critical imagination Returning in Guise After Guise in The Swiss Family Robertson, Robinson in Bethlehem Catholic. Robinson Crusoe. Correct. And your bonus, multiple choice. According to many critics, Robinson Crusoe is considered the first English novel. Choose its correct publication date from the dates listed on the monitor, 1584, 1615, 1719, 1806. Lauren? 1719 is correct. Art, multiple choice. The Temple on the Monitor dates to 550 BC as an example of what architectural style is it? I believe it was Penargel first. All right, Penargel. Classical. I will continue reading the choices to Bethlehem Catholic, Ancient Egyptian, Greek, Persian, or Roman. Brennan? Greek. It is Greek. Your bonus, multiple choice. Is the temple an example of Doric, Ionic, or Corinthian architecture? Lauren, Doric. It is Doric. You have to look at the capitals. Toss up in chemistry. If an alcohol chain has three carbon atoms, how many isomers are possible? <coughs> Bethlehem Catholic? Eight. Over to Penargel. Penargel? Three. It is two. Toss up in world geography. What does the G stand for when I say it's six o'clock G? Bethlehem Catholic? Greenwich Standard Time. It stands for Greenwich. When I say GMT, Greenwich Mean Time, Greenwich Standard Time. Bonus, what name is given to the imaginary line on the surface of the Earth that runs from the North Pole to the South Pole and demarcates one calendar day from the next? Lauren? International Dateline? Yes. Toss up in mathematics. Complete this theorem. The line segments joining the midpoints in succession of the sides of a quadrilateral form a what? Bethlehem Catholic. A right triangle. Over to Penargel. Mason. Uh, isosceles triangle. A parallelogram. If you had drawn yourself a little picture, maybe you would have seen that. Toss up and current events. The former political prisoner and Nobel Prize winner, Von Sang Shu Chi visited the White House in September 2016. What country, formerly under military dictatorship, does she lead? Bethlehem Catholic? 
Vietnam. Penargil. Thomas? Cambodian. It is Myanmar, Burma. Toss up in language arts. The Greek word root phil, or philo, P-H-I-L, means what? I did not hear any buzz because everybody seemed to buzz in at the same time. It is Bethlehem Catholic, I'm told by the judges. What does it mean? Brother. Goes over to Penargil. Mason. Good. It means loving or fond of. Toss up in world history. The U.S. was engaged in a Herculean effort to move brigades to the Iran-Kuwait front in 1991. This maneuver was not as difficult as Hannibal's crossing of the Alps with elephants. In which specific war did Hannibal, Bethlehem Catholic? The Punic War. Which one of the Punic Wars? Second Punic the War. The Second Punic War is correct. Bonus. For five points each, between which two countries are the Pindus Mountains, where thousands of desperate refugees in 1990 and 1991 climbed almost impassable peaks to flee the Stalinist regime in Tirana? Lauren? Iraq and Afghanistan. Albania and Greece. Toss up in American literature. Complete this quotation. A foolish consistency is the hoblog, hobgoblin of... A foolish consistency is the hobgoblin of... Little Minds. That's Ralph Waldo Emerson. Toss up in world history. Who served as leader of the Soviet Union for 18 years from 1964 to 19... Pinargel? Khrushchev. Over to Bethlehem Catholic. Garrett? Gorbachev. Brezhnev. Toss up in mathematics, paper and pencil. How many square yards of fence material does it take to build a fence around a 20 feet by 10 feet area if the fence is to be three feet high? Bethlehem Catholic. 92. Over to Penargil. Oh, you cannot uh, talk on a toss up. Uh, but Mason? Uh, 600. It is 20 square yards. Next toss up is in US geography. Death Valley in California is the lowest spot in the United States. In what southern city is the second lowest place in the United States? Pinargel. Phoenix, Arizona. Over to Bethlehem Catholic. New Orleans. It is New Orleans. And your bonus for five points each. First, the most fertile portion of Louisiana is the delta of which river? Mississippi. Lauren. Mississippi. And the delta is formed when the Mississippi River enters which? body of water. Gulf of Mexico. Yes. Toss up in American literature. Study these lines on your monitor. Identify the metrical pattern in which they are written. The world stands out on either side no wider than the heart is wide. Above the world is stretched the sky no higher than the soul is high. Metrical pattern. Bethlehem Catholic? Iambic. Continue. Uh, 
me continue. Yes. Mm -hmm. Iambic pentameter. Over to penargil. Mason? Uh, it was not Mason, it was uh, Devin. Who was it? No, it was not. Benjamin? Uh, iambic heptameter? It is iambic tetrameter. Four. The world stands out on either side. Four. Iambic tetrameter. That, of course, is Edna St. Vincent Millay. Dex toss up is mathematics probability. A pair of dice is tossed once. What is the probability that the sum of the numbers showing is 11? Penargil? Uh, two out of 36 or one out of 18. Correct, and your bonus. One card is drawn from an ordinary deck. What is the probability the card is a seven or a diamond? Time is up. It is 16 out of 52 or 4 out of 13. I think you knew it, but just didn't get under the wire. Toss up in British literature. Identify the only African queen in the title of a Shakespearean play. Bethlehem Catholic? Cleopatra. Yes, in Antony and Cleopatra. And your bonus. Identify the leader of Greece's golden age whose name is the title of a Shakespearean play. Lauren? Pericles? It is Pericles, Prince of Tyre. Next toss-up is world history. Identify the former Middle East leader whose first name means one who confronts and who was also known as the Butcher of Baghdad. Bethlehem Catholic? Saddam Hussein. And your bonus. Time is up. The final score is Bethlehem Catholic 160, Penargil 15. Our thanks to Penargil High School for being with us. Congratulations to Bethlehem Catholic. We'll see you at a second round later in the season. Thank you for watching and supporting these excellent students. Please join us next week for another contest on Scholastic Scrimmage. Scholastic Scrimmage is brought to you by the members of PBS 39 and by Scholastic Scrimmage is sponsored by St. Luke's University Health Network, the region's leading provider of medical education. For more than 100 years, St. Luke's has been dedicated to educating physicians, nurses, and healthcare professionals. To learn more, call St. Luke's InfoLink, toll free at 866-ST-LUKES, or visit sluhn.org. Support for PBS 39's educational programming is provided by the Deluxe Corporation Foundation. Proud to support quality programming on PBS 39.